Here at the University of Akron, our Zip soccer team has brought a tremendous amount of respect and success to First Energy Stadium, Cub Cadet Field. Now this coming fall, with the departure of Caleb Porter and various new freshmen being integrated into the lineup, we will see if the Zips can bring home another nationally ranked season. Thanks DJ and Stacey. Yes, I'm holding it down by myself this week as Decoy is out day to day with a cold, but definitely looking forward to having him back for our next show. Now, jumping to the men's schedule, Bowling Green will come to the jar on Wednesday. The matchup will be the second of the season between the two teams as they took a 10-footer from Nick Harney with a second left to give the Zips a 56-55 win. After BG, Keith Dan Brown and company will take on a tough road test in Ohio as they travel to Athens to take on the Bobcats. The travel on Saturday afternoon will be much shorter for UA as they head to Kent for another matchup in the Wagon Wheel Challenge. The Zips edged out the Flashes 68-62 in their first matchup on January 14th. Just like the men, the last week of February will be big in determining the women's seating in the MAC tournament. Let's see if they can pick up a pair of wins on the road in these two tests. Will, now, determination, perseverance. These attributes most accurately describe our UA men's and women's basketball teams here at the University of Akron. Now both teams hit their various snags this year in the NCAA tournament, but are looking to rebuild and make some serious noise this year as the fall quickly approaches here at James A. Rhodes Arena. What's up everyone and welcome to this week's edition of the In-Depth Segment here on the Sports Report. I'm Dee Harris and I know all of you are looking to see what's up in the MAC as well as what's going on with the Zips. Let's get into it. Checking out the MAC East football standings, we find our Zips at the bottom of the East currently dominated by the 4-0 On this week's Club Sport Profile, Anna Toltz takes a look at the University of Akron English Equestrian Club. When the average student is told to name a University of Akron sport, lacrosse almost never comes to mind. That is something that the team is trying to change. We've become sort of the, lar we're the largest university within the Northeast Ohio area that offers a c competitive level program at the Division I level within uh, a national club. A lot of people you see on here right now are freshmen and sophomores looking to keep this program going for years to come. Let's pick it up right now, okay? Come on. Nick Lopez has been the president of the team for two and a half years, and his team has strong goals for their future. Well, right now we're looking at jumping up divisions. Uh, we're trying to prove that we're successful and that we're legitimate. Uh, as of last year, we've done that. This year we're competitive, going for a national championship. But Nick has even bigger plans for the team. We plan is the NCLL where we build our program as students on campus. And once we uh, show structure and uh, growth, we look to move to MCLA Division One, which is a varsity club level, which is what we consider ourselves now. Uh, moving into MCLA Division II, where we bring players in on recruitment. With new head coach John Pont, they hope to continue to grow the lacrosse program even further by setting the goal of attaining a national title. We look to continue to grow as a program, as well as looking to build the women's program to hopefully one day become NCAA. Reporting from the University of Akron campus, D. Harris, ZTV Sports. Our game ball honoring a game-breaking performance by a Zips athlete goes to Thomas Schmidt, who just missed it. If he was a fantastic bicycle kick, but was still able to net a goal and help the Zips get a semifinal win against Bowling Green. Well, we have to take a break, but when we return, Coach Ryan Oren sits down with our Chris Coons. That and much more coming up right here on the ZTV Sports Report. <laughs> 